Jack, I got a couple for you. Yeah. Wait for Megan. Just Let's do it. Sort of great first half, and then you know they make that big run in the third quarter. Just what you see there? Yeah, that was the message after the game is being able to sustain it. I think uh, we were up ten at half. Might have been, you know, we could have had six more points uh, just because we were able to turn them over. We didn't convert on some of those turnovers. So uh, being able to capitalize when we have the opportunity. Maybe that league is sixteen or eighteen at half, uh, but the ability to sustain sixty-six points for them in the second half. Uh, they got to the rim. Uh, we got to be able to sustain it. I was going to say, and then you mentioned the turnovers. You know, you guys turned them over as much as they turned you guys over. I mean, just how much of that on your end was obviously they got length, Drew, Giannis, you know, talked about the newness. You know, how much of those do you think were self inflicted versus, you know, the, the, way, they the way they defend? Excuse me. Yeah, I think overall, uh, for us to be able to force a turnover, which is great, means we were in the right place and uh, being active ourselves. Uh, I think some of ours were uh, unforced. Uh, and that's the part that we got to capitalize on. Uh, I, I said that to the group, is making sure we take advantage of each possession. And if you need to hit a single instead of a home run, a single is, is a lot of times pretty good. Coach, there were times where Giannis just got downhill and yeah. got what he wanted. What, what, do you, what can you do with that? Yeah, you know, we were good at some areas where we had two bodies on him, and uh, he was still able to convert early in the, in the first half and really took it up a notch in, in the third quarter and made a difference. Um, you know, you can elect to foul him, uh, try to at the rim, uh, put him on the ground. Uh, you can do some strategies. Uh, we tried to put two bodies around him. Uh, pretty impressive by him still finishing at the rim. Are, are you able to take any positives from this game, given how you guys performed the first three quarters before he started to... Yeah, for sure. I, I love uh, how our group was on the bench, first of all, the communication. I think we were locked into the game plan. Uh, I thought our approach at the beginning of the game was really good. Gave ourselves a chance at halftime. Uh, I think overall, uh, it's a message for us to be able to, to sustain this thing and be able to, to do it in the third quarter and fourth quarter against an elite team. Um, when we're not shooting well. I think we went four for 19. There was a stretcher from three. Uh, so the difference was they got to the rim um, and we shot some mid-range at that time. And so that conversion rate is definitely in their favor. Your, uh, your starters logged a lot of minutes in the first half. I mean, was that an indicator, I guess, of just how seriously you were taking the game and where you guys are in terms of a desperation level? And... Do you think that played a role in the second half, guys wearing down, or was that just an MVP player playing like an MVP? Yeah, I think uh, you see the last two games, uh, the minutes have been uh, increasing with that starting five, uh, and I think overall that will continue. Uh, you know, when I came back from the break, I told our group there's 24 games that we had left. We're going to take each game extremely serious and try to win each game. So wasn't really concerned about this being a back-to-back. -back. Uh, played those guys heavy minutes to try to give ourselves a chance in the first half. Uh, but you give Milwaukee credit for responding. Jacques, you guys had, I think, nine assists on your first 10 baskets. I, I think it stayed pretty consistent for a bit there. Did you, do you think there was any drop-off in, in the ball movement and, and the way you guys were spraying around the first half and, and how much of that was getting kind of the offense getting stagnant versus, you know, maybe some adjustments they might have made? I, I think uh, they did make some adjustments as far as um, uh, going small a little bit, so that helped them. Uh, they ended up switching a little bit. That helped them. Uh, so they were able to keep us in front a little bit. But t the shots that we got, uh, there was a stretch where I thought every ball was going in, looked good from multiple people, uh, so not really concerned about that piece. Uh, so I thought overall, and I remember a time I was saying, the process is extremely correct. Like, keep doing it. You're getting your teammates good looks. Uh, we just got to make them. Jock, you mentioned that process, and before, during pregame, you talked about how playing fast was going to be a main point of emphasis that you guys did in Atlanta. For tonight, what did you see from the group that allowed you guys to start off with that fast pace? That's going to be important as you guys kind of move forward and grow. Yeah, and, and Megan, that was another message uh, to the team after the game is uh, it takes a extreme condition level to be able to play that pace and to play hard on the defensive end of the floor. So it's going to be a challenge to our group, off days, recovery days, taking care your body uh, make sure you're maintaining it being in shape uh, and so we can play fast I thought overall we wanted to get out before that defense was set uh, we did so a lot of times uh, we just got to take advantage in transition coach uh, Mikhail 31 I, I know you've spoken about wanting to get out shoot a lot of threes and get to the rim but his ability to create in mid-range what, what does that do for you guys don't want to live with it you know, because you play a team like tonight, uh, that's the shot they want to give up. That's their profile defensively. And so uh, if you're making it at a high level, you get rewarded for it. Uh, but you see getting to the rim puts an extreme amount of uh, pressure on your defense. So we can mix in getting to the rim like they did in the second half. Uh, we can take some of that mid-range.